So this is Eileen. She is with IMI Brokage. Uh, IMI Brokage is kind of like the middle uh, company between Great West Life and Herman Scheme uh, Tribal Enterprises. So I think it's great that you're out here and willing to learn because uh, we all pay into it and the best way to take advantage of it is to learn from what she has to say. And she's a professional, she's been here longer than I am, so she would know more than me, so if you have any questions, she's the one to talk to. So I'll just let her take it Thank you, Neil, for those kind words. Welcome, everyone. Apparently, I can't walk up and down like I normally do. I can only go this way because we're being <laughs> So bear with me. We're going to go through the group life and health benefits first. And after that presentation, we will do the pension. I usually have an open forum, which means you can ask me questions at any time, and I will attempt to answer them. If I don't have an answer, I will get you an answer in writing, usually within 48 hours. And of course, you all know Juanita, right? She's our girl at SAPS, or at, at our office over at SAPS. Right. Your insurance is provided by Great West Life, and your policy number is 156651. There are a number of divisions in Herman Skin, 1, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 10. And most of you will be in Division 1. So if you work for uh, Herman Skin Tribal Enterprises, you're in Division 1. I and my brokerage is 100% owned by Aboriginal bands. Two of them are in Alberta, one of course is Urban Skin and the other one is Frog Lake. All equal share. Next slide. <laughs> we have offices in Cranbrook, BC, head offices in Duck Lake, Saskatchewan on Barry's Open Masses Reserve. We have an office over at Samson Cree Nation that Pink Long Creek Building. And we have a branch office in um, Fort Capel. And I also have a home office in OBC, which is where I live. I come here every month about the same time. So you can always plan any questions, presentations, or anything you want from me around that time. The president and general manager of the company is Joan Barnaby Helco. Corey Lee and I work out of BC. Juanita and I work out of Alberta. And out of Saskatchewan is Joan, Suzette, Marie, Debbie, Melissa, and Leanne. As Neil indicated when he uh, introduced me, what we do is we represent your interests between you and the insurance company. Our job is to take care of you. I don't really care about the insurance company. All divisions are eligible for all insurance benefits on the day that you complete three months of continuous employment or your director or your immediate supervisor has signed a letter saying your probationary period is completed. In some cases, you may work longer than three months. You may have a six-month probationary period. So it's at that time that your immediate supervisor would send a letter to Neil saying you are now eligible for um, benefits. Employees working less than 20 weeks or 20 hours per week are not eligible. Dependents become eligible the same day as your insurance is. But if your dependent is confined in the hospital, they're not eligible until they are uh, uh, 
released from the hospital except for a newborn child. A child is a person who is unmarried, dependent on you for financial uh, support, and who is your natural child, your stepchild, your legally adopted child that lives with you. An application can be made to Great West Life for benefits for additional dependent children. Uh, if you've taken on some additional children in, into your home and you have legal guardianship of those children, you can actually add them on to your group life and health plan. Unless otherwise shown in the benefit, a child must be in, um, less than 21 years of age or less than 25 years of going to college or university. If they're going to college or university, you probably have to provide evidence and usually the student card is good, good for that evidence. Benefits do not end because of age for children with a mental or physical handicap. Eligibility of spouse. It's your legal spouse, your common law spouse, or your same-sex spouse. Late applicant. You will be a late applicant if you do not submit an enrollment form fully completed and signed to Great West Life within 31 days of becoming eligible for benefits. So that's either your waiting period or your probationary period. If you don't do that, then you have to provide medical evidence and possible refusal of benefits. And your dental coverage is down to $100. And no orthodontic coverage for 24 months. <coughs> Leave of absence. If you're going on um, maternity leave, education leave, leave with or without pay, you need to consult your plan administrator who is Neil and he will help you understand what your responsibilities are in terms of paying the premiums for your benefits if you want to keep them while you're away from work. <coughs> Employee life insurance is two times annual earnings, maximum 250000 Reduced by 50% at age 65. Dependent life for your spouse is 10, for your child is 5. And then you have accidental death and dismemberment. This is coverage 24 hours, but only for accident or dismemberment. Excuse me for a moment. Employee accidental death and dismemberment is two times your annual earnings. <coughs> All life insurance terminates at age 71 or end of employment, whichever comes first. Loss of life accidentally is two times annual salary. Sight of both eyes, two times annual salary. Speech, a half. Hearing in both ears, a half. In the front here are some employee benefit booklets. There's a lot more listed in here, and I would strongly recommend you read the booklet. Loss of use is the loss of use of both arms and both legs. Two times annual salary, both legs, two times annual salary. One arm, one leg, same side, two times annual salary, both arms or both hands. One times annual salary. If you lose your thumb, it has to be thumb and index finger, and has to be below the second knuckle. Otherwise, it's not classified as that step. Um, 
under the accidental death and uh, benefit only, there is an educational benefit for dependent children. If you die of an accident, Great West Life will pay tuition fees for your dependent children as long as they have already been enrolled as full-time student at college or university. They will pay 5% of annual salary or 5,000, whichever is less for four years for tuition only. For injury to an employee that requires he or she change occupation, Great West Life will pay up to 10,000 for post-secondary training only for a new occupation. And this is only under accidental dismemberment, okay? Long-term disability is to replace the income loss because of sickness or injury. Waiting period is 119 days. You will notice that we haven't talked about short-term. We do not have short-term coverage on your plan. If you are sick with, before the 119 days, you three to four weeks, you need to go to EI Benefit Sickness and apply an EI, they pay 55% of your salary up to 17 weeks. So you've got a two week waiting period and 15 week pay. Then your long term disability should kick in if you're still sick according to a doctor. Your uh, benefit is 75% of your monthly salary.